Well, cheers to today's meeting. Cheers. Cheers. My name is Hiro Tanaka, 24 years old. The reason I'm in this kind of place is because I was invited by a guy I know, Charao. But man, you are absolutely gorgeous, Anna. You know that. Oh, come on, stop it. Oh, you want more? Oh no, I will, Miss Yamamoto. No, stop, it's okay. Remember, there's a difference between work and personal life. Oh, thank you very much. You're a cool person, Miss Yamamoto. Oh, come on, what is that? The person who is at the center of attention in the conversation since the beginning of the mixer is Anna Yamamoto. She's a 27-year-old employee and seems to be the most senior among the women. I mean, she is pretty, but... To be honest, I ain't really interested in love, you know? Hey, Anna, what do you do in your weekends? I love cooking and I prep my meals. No way. What's your signature dish? Um, probably simmered dish. Wow, you're quite the homemaker. Impressive. Oh man, wanna go home ASAP. Forgot to clean up before I left. Think there was also dust behind the shelf. Hiro? Hmm? Hello, Hiro. Uh, yeah. Oops, was lost in mind thinking about how dirty my house is. Uh, wow, finally you responded. <laughs> you're kind of cool, Hiro. Nah, I'm not. I really like cool guys, because they're hot, you know? <sighs> really? <laughs> Aw, you're cute. <laughs> He's harder to get than I expected. Oh, Hiro, are you into me by any chance? What? I noticed you haven't made much eye contact with me, and I wondered if it was because you were too shy to look at me, you know? If that's the case, then I can come over to you instead. What's with her confidence? I have a hunch this is gonna be bad. Uh, sorry. I ain't that interested. What? Th sorry about that, Anna. He's not really used to these mixer parties, so... Uh, um, you know, this guy's jokes are so off and... Anyway, don't mind him. <sighs> right Hiro? I I'm sorry. Oh, no. It's not a big deal. I mean, I think I also got carried away there. I don't belong in this kind of glamorous place in the first place, because I'm... Alright, everything is clean and perfect as usual. Because I'm a basic guy who works as a housekeeper, my mother was not good at housework, and I ended up supporting her, and before I knew it, I became a housework geek. As a result, now I spend my days serving customers as a super housekeeper. <laughs> good work today, hero. Thank you. Oh no. Thank you for always using our services. As a matter of fact, Chararo is always one of our clients. I told him that our company mainly serves male clients, so he felt sorry for me and added me to the mixer yesterday. You had fun at the mixer with those cute girls, right? I'll invite you again next time, so stay tuned. <laughs> I'm good. An hour later, I'm back. Oh, you came in the best time. Can you go to one more place today? This bright and lively woman, Tenshin Ron, is the president of the housekeeping service company I work for. Yeah, sure, no problem, but wait, is the client a female? Yeah, I heard she had a really heavy load to carry. Well, if we work with two, we can handle it. All the other workers are out today, and rescheduling's not an option, you know. The client's aware that a male housekeeper will be coming to help. With the client's consent, I headed over to her house. However, whom I met there was unexpectable. Wh why are you here? What? Are you the person from yesterday's mixer party? Never thought a person I knew would come. Oh, should we change the schedule then? Some people feel uncomfortable having someone they know see inside their home. So it's not a problem if we reschedule. But since other staff members are out today, maybe another day would work better. Huh? It has to be today. And besides you, you're the super housekeeper, right? So that's why I wanted you to do it. So you've got to help me. What? What in the world could be in this room? Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. I just couldn't take it anymore, living in this kind of room. There's a lot of garbage to throw away. 
So I thought it might be impossible for someone who isn't a man to do it. I see. Please! Please turn this room into a cute apartment for an office lady! Leave it all to me. A few hours later. Wow! I'm glad you're happy with it. It's pretty simple, but the meal preps are almost done too. You even did that for me? Thank you. Hey, you must be disappointed, right? What? I mean, it's too different from what I was saying yesterday. I've never prepped a meal before, my house is a mess. It's so embarrassing. It's okay, don't worry about it. And I'm sorry. My attitude yesterday was terrible, wasn't it? Actually... After that, Anna gradually opened up to me. Anna, a hard-working business lady, prioritizes work over everything else. And as you can see is not good at household chores. But her juniors think that she's perfect in both work and personal life. Please tell us, Miss Yamamoto. Please tell us the secret to attract guys like you. We want to win at group dates too. Uh, um, please? Uh, all right. And then, I kind of got too cocky. So that's what happened. That must have been tough. But I didn't mind it, you know. Even if I'm good at work, I'm still a failure as a woman in my home like this, right? That's not true. Huh? The reason you were acting that way yesterday was for your juniors, right? I thought you were really kind. And plus, housework isn't just for women, you know. Uh. And it's amazing that you were able to work so hard and focus until it got to this point. You're a hard worker, Anna. You know that? Uh. You. Well then, I'll be going now. Uh, um... Yes? Can I rely on you again? If you don't mind. I want you to do it. Sure thing. Anytime. We look forward to serving you again. Y yes The next day. Hey, you know, thanks for yesterday. The client gave us a rave review, you know? That's great to hear. I saw the before and after photos, but... Whew, this is something only you can handle, Hiro. We'd like you to handle it again, but is that fine? The client specifically requested you. I'm good to go. Oh, but just so you know, relationships with clients are off limits. Got it? I mean, with clients, all right? So, while we're at it. Let's talk about that some other time. Later on, I visited Anna's house once a week. I've been spelling something amazing since earlier. What are you making? I'm making stuffed bell peppers, simmered hijiki seaweed, and pumpkin salad. Uh, are you a genius or something? No, no. Anyone can make these if you follow the recipe. That's not true. What? Everything I make turns into ashes. I, I think you're exaggerating. But it's true. I can't even tell if the taste is sweet or salty, you know. Compared to that, your meal preps are too delicious. They didn't even last for a week. Th thanks Your prep meals are just too tempting while I'm trying to work. Then you want to taste it? Oh, you sure? Yeah, here you go. Ah. Uh... Huh? You're gonna eat it directly? Oh, it's so good. I'm in paradise. I'm glad to hear that. Man, she's throwing me off a bit. And... She's kind of cute, too. And the other day. Sorry, I made a mess. Once I start looking things up, I just can't stop. No need to worry. This is my job. You're such a nice person, you know. What? N nothing a Anyway, looking at this stuff is making me want camping gear for mountain climbing. Oh, yeah, I get it. I've wanted to try living in a tent. I know, right? And the camp meals featured in this sure look so delicious. Ah, yeah. Charcoal grilling is the way to go for outdoor cooking, isn't it? My birthday is coming up soon, so I'm considering buying one as a reward for myself. Oh, that's great. You know what's up. And you too, Anna. <laughs> what's so funny? No, it's just I'm surprised because it's the first time I've met a guy who has so many in common. Why not just go out with me? Huh? I'm just kidding. <laughs> did I freak you out? Nope, I did not. We don't engage in romantic relationships with our customers. 
so please rest assured. What? For real? Oh, I was pretty serious about it. What? Um, sorry to... <laughs> I'm just kidding again. Oh, okay. The day I was asked to help her with her housework increased from once a week to twice a week. And then, before I knew it, there was a part of me that wanted to support hardworking and adorable Anna. But... It's so dirty, huh? I know it is. There's been a change in the project and I've been a little busy. Oh no, I mean, it's totally fine with me because this is my job, so... Man, she's working hard. But hiring someone to do the housework isn't that expensive. Oh yeah. Would you like me to teach you some tips for cleaning up? What? Really? I'm happy that you're asking me to do it, but for the sake of your household budget, it'd be better to cut back on it, right? Oh, it's not like that at all. I'd be really happy if you came. I mean, I'd love it if you came every day. What? Ah, sorry, that was just my usual joke. <laughs> then please teach me, super housekeeper. Y yeah Yeah, fold the corners firmly like that. L like that? Yeah, you're doing great. Really? Maybe I can do it if I try. Okay, now let's put this in the drawer. Ah! Whoa. Ah, I I'm so sorry. N nah, it's fine. After saying something like that, and then this kind of, man, I can't stop my heart from racing. Nah, 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 no romance allowed. No romance allowed. Anna is just grateful as a customer. Yes. On the day of the next reservation after that happened, all right, let's switch gears. Hello, this is Koiwa Agency Services. Um, um, no one's here? That shouldn't be. What? What was that sound? The door is unlocked. This is an emergency, so... Anna, sorry to intrude. There was a loud noise, but you okay? H you know. Hey, what happened? What happened in here? It it's nothing. It's nothing? Really? Like I said, it's alright, so don't worry. What was that sound? An explosion? And why aren't the fire alarms going off? Come on, you're overreacting. Well, anyways, thank God you were okay. Let's clean this up. Y yeah All right, let's put these things in the refrigerator here. Oh, wait, no, don't open it! What? Uh... This? Uh, um... You said that your birthday's coming up soon, so I made it for you. You're always doing so much for me, so as a thank you. Uh, th this was all for me? Yeah, but it just ended up being more work for you. I'm sorry. I wanted to make you happy even just a little bit, so I tried my best. But I messed up, and when I tried to make it again, I messed up even more. Oh... Oh, but it can't be delicious, so you don't have to eat it. Thanks for making it. Well then. But wait! D don't! Spit it out right now! Because it's not delicious! I'll go buy a new cake! No, it's actually really good. Like, really. Huh? What? You're lying. I'm not lying. I've never had such a wonderful cake before. Th thank you. Oh, of course. I'll help you clean it up too. It's alright. I can do it by myself. No, really. I want to do it with you. Let me help. I want to learn how to clean. Uh, okay, then. Then let's do it together today. I've been super attracted to Anna, who always tries her best even at things she's not good at, for a long time. But you can't have a relationship with a customer. Maybe what I had to do was already decided. Miss Tenshin, I have a huge favor. Oh, you finally got motivated, huh? Right. After that, I took a break for a while. During that time, it seems that Anna also took a break from using our services for some reason. And today, when I returned to work after a long time, I received a reservation from Anna. I came to her house, but... Sorry, it's messy as usual. It's okay, don't worry about it. Um, I tried my best, but I, I couldn't do it. Huh? Anna? Uh, Whoa, you have a fever. It's really high. Excuse me, Miss Tenshin. The customer's got a crazy high fever and passed out, so I'm going to take her to the hospital now. What? That's an emergency. 
I'll call a taxi to your location. Thank you, Miss Tenshin. I heard what happened. Don't worry, I'll drive safely and get you there in no time. Thank you. Th thanks. It's okay. Just don't worry and rest. <sighs> a few hours later. Uh, where am I? Anna, are you okay? Hito? Huh? L why? You don't remember? When I came to your house, you were burning with a fever and collapsed. So I took you to the hospital. You were dehydrated too. So you gotta stay in the hospital for the night. I'm sorry for causing trouble again. No, no, it's no trouble at all. Remember how you taught me tricks to tidying up and cleaning? I was trying to do it on my own so I wouldn't have to rely on you all the time and improve myself. I see. But it didn't work out. I couldn't balance it with my job and things got even messier, you know? I, I can't change anything about myself. Anna? I wanted you to like me. What? Everyone I've ever liked has been disappointed and left me when they saw the real me. So, I thought that men only like what's on the surface. But you never paid attention to me at first. Um... Maybe it's because of work, but you were the first person who accepted the real me. You said you can't date a customer, but I wanted to be with you as a woman. Uh... I... I'm sorry. Forget what I just said. Forget? Of course I can't. Huh? I also like you, Anna, when you're always giving your all. Even if there are things you can't do, it's okay. Let me support you in everything. Wait, y you really like me? Is that true? Yeah. B but y you can't take customers, right? Yep, and that's why I quit my job. Wait, you're kidding, right? Nope, it's true. I was always encouraged to go independent, you know. But I just wanted to live a simple life doing what I love, which is cooking. But then I saw how seriously you take your work, and it made me want to work hard too. Plus, if I become independent, I can confess my feelings to you. Actually, that's why I came here today, to tell you how I feel. I is that true? Yes, I love you. Even though I'm lazy and my room is messy? I love you just the way you are. <sighs> Since you've made me feel so deeply in love, you have to take responsibility for it, okay? Oh, of course. I I love you too. And that's how we started dating. Our work has been going well even after we started our own business. Of course, our personal life is also fulfilling, and we now live together in the same room. I burned the vegetables today, and the miso soup is too bland. Well, I mean then it's crispy and delicious. And having a lighter broth is actually better for your health, right? Uh... And look, the rolled omelette turned out perfectly. Uh, I went through all the trouble of insisting to make it and now it's ruined. Hey, if I become perfect at housework, will you marry me? Uh... Um, well, I'll do my best, but it seems like it'll take a while, so I'd like to reserve a spot if that's okay with you. Anna? ASAP if possible. You know. Everyone has things they're not good at. And I know it's important to make an effort to improve yourself. But it's also okay not to force yourself to do something you can't. I'm sure that complimenting each other's weaknesses is what it means to live together. Hi, it's me, Mel. Thanks for watching my channel. I'm super happy if you watch the next and other videos too!